I've been a Premiere Pro editor for over 10 years. I've worked on this, this, and this. Today we're gonna to talk about proxies, keyboard shortcuts, and a couple tips I really think you're gonna love. Okay, first one, proxies. So what proxies does is it slims down the footage so you'll be able to play it off a slower computer. So what we can do is we'll select all our footage here in the bin, right click, and then simply go to proxy and create proxies. I like to leave the frame size as half, select your location and hit okay. So what happens there is it'll go through all the footage and when it's done, you'll be able to toggle between proxies and then your full rust clips. See, if I just select all the footage here and then you toggle right here to proxies and you should be able to edit your footage a lot faster that way. So the next tip has to do with selects. A lot of the times we'll shoot hours and hours of footage and we wanna go through it really fast. So in order to do that is you select your footage, drop it on the timeline, and then what you'll be able to do and say you wanna pick this as a select, what you do is you hit option and then an arrow key up. And then option, arrow key up. So these are selects, right? And then say once you're finished doing your selects, you select all by clicking command A, copy, paste that again, and then delete everything over here. And then what you have now is your selects. Another selects tip I love is called the pancake method. So let me show you how I do that. So you take your footage and drag it on timeline, and then you actually duplicate this timeline, Apple D, and then take the duplicated sequence and drag it here, and then you have a pancake, right? So now what you can easily do is take a clip, say you like this one, and then you could drag it over here. Take this clip, say you like this one, drag it over here. So you're basically creating another sequence that's only for selects. It kind of looks like a pancake, a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, next tip, keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are amazing. So what you do is you go into Premiere Pro, click on keyboard shortcuts. And in this window, you'll be able to switch basically any key to any action in Premiere Pro. One of my favorite ones is the blade tool. So my B to do add edit. So what that means, you take a clip, drop it on a timeline, and then you can do blades anywhere on your clip, just like that. Here's one tip I'm sure you'll love. Have you ever did an interview and you have a lot of pauses in that interview and you just wanna get rid of them really quickly? Easy way to do that is you take the clip, right click on it, scroll down, transcribe it, and then when that transcription's done, you go up to this menu button right here and click on pauses. What it'll do is it'll highlight all the pauses as you can see here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take that clip, drag it on the timeline, and then you'll be able to delete the pauses. Hit on delete here, and then look what it did. It took out all the pauses. This saves so much time and is a game changer. Next tip has to do with music. Have you ever wanted to quickly match the beat to a clip? Easily can do that. So what you do is you take the uh, music track, drag it on the timeline, and then we're gonna be using markers, right? To match the beat here. So when I hit play, you're gonna have your finger on M and you just click to the beat as best you can. And now you could see that the markers are on top here. So you could take a clip, you take that and match it to the um, markers here, right? So now it hits perfectly to the beat. All right guys, so those are my tips for today. I really like putting these videos together because I know how time consuming editing can be and hearing one of these tips could save you hours upon hours of time. But before you go, please take a look at this wedding highlight.